Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am back. Yay! <laughs> I know I've been gone for a minute, but I always tell you it's hard for me to do your readings when I am not in the right spirit. I gotta make sure that I am centered and I am making sure and making sure that I am receiving the right and correct messages that I'm hearing for you. So as I always begin, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give to the channel. Thank you for the comments that you leave. I read every last one of them. Just a little bit about the reading that we're about to do. This is your general reading for July, okay? Anything can happen in this reading. Anything can come out and there will be an extended for this. So if you're a part of our Patreon, you'll get an opportunity to see all of the extendeds. Okay, that link can be found below. Now you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Oh, hello to our cross watchers. Don't forget that the messages can flip flop. Okay, so if it doesn't relate to you, it could definitely relate to your partner. Now, there's no time limit on these readings. It could have happened three months ago, could happen today, could happen in the very near future. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Subscribe to our channel right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Hit that little bell and every time we will release a reading, you will be notified, okay? Don't forget we do private readings and information pertaining to our private readings can be found below. All right, until now, we are ready to get started back in full force for your readings. On to your readings. Hello, my Pisces. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. And this is your reading for July 2020, your general reading. There will be an extended on this, okay? So if you want to view the extended, information pertaining to that can be found below. Or you can just join our Patreon, okay? Our Patreons get the opportunity to see all of the extendeds. So that information can be found below as well. All right, my loves, let's get right into it. Okay. What is going on here? We got one trying to pop out already. All right, Holy Spirit, the one created the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? For the general reading, July 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as it relates to the general reading for July 2020? What messages need to go forth? Oh, your cards are very active. What messages need to go forth? Yes, I mean, your cards are quite, yeah. I, I, I know it was a lot of messages coming out. Pisces, this is something about you guys that when you're active and messages are coming through, I mean, they come through, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? As it relates to the general reading for July 2020, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Okay. All right. So these are the first three out. First card. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Wow. This same card came out for Aquarius. Same exact card. So once again, I'm going to tell you the same way I told them. Either someone has been um, someone has been blamed for something that they did not do, okay? Um, I'm feeling in this, or you're feeling guilt about something that has been laid on you, and you feel you feel responsible for it, but spirit is telling you didn't do anything. Okay, so either somebody is being blank for something that they did not do. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you definitely got to look at their reading because it's similar to yours. You created this situation. You have the power to change it. So this is a situation that's going on and you may have had something to do with. Let me explain to you when it says you created this situation. It could be as simple as you being in a relationship and you were all for the relationship. That's the situation that was created. But now it's going south. Now you have the power to change it, okay? But we're definitely going to be clarifying those cards. Pay attention to your dreams. Well, you are the most intuitive sign. So spirit could be trying to speak to you through your dreams, and maybe you're not paying attention. 
information could be coming in for you through your dreams and maybe you're not paying attention okay oh wow get more information there it is right there so you're needing information is coming to you or you're needing to get more information pisces in this situation okay you need to get clarity you need to get guidance so that information could be coming from a counselor it could be coming from this reading right here okay where you're seeking guidance and getting more information but somebody is definitely in a position, either they've been blamed for something they did not do or they're feeling guilty for something and they should not feel guilty for. Okay? And it's a situation that was created by you. Now keep in mind that the energies can flip up. If it's not you, it could definitely be your partner. All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universal Message just need to go forth for the sign of Pisces. As it relates to the general reading for July 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? Okay. Mm. That card came out for... Wow, this card came out for Aquarius too. Wow. Okay, let's see if you have any... Um, angel numbers coming through and you do you got a 10 here and a 10 here so definitely look up 10 10 10 10 is coming through for you very strongly and you got the 7 and 1 here which is 8 and you got an 8 here so look up 10 10 and 8 okay 8 8 8 8 8, eight. all of those are going to have the same meaning for you okay um, could be dealing with the Taurus or Virgo Capricorn could be dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra as I told you earlier um, you got a lot of swords. All these are swords, 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 swords. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, that air energy is definitely coming through. And um, the wheel represents fire signs. So it could be a, a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leah. Okay? But keep in mind, it could be any sign. They're just taking on the energy of the sign. All right. So you right now are needing to focus on you, focus on your skills, focus on, focus on your job. I feel like you need to keep your mind active, okay? I feel like you need to keep your mind working on something, okay? Because um, as your mind is, is concentrated on your skills, concentrated on your job, just concentrated on just taking care of what you need to take care of, taking care of your business, taking care of your money, just taking care of you. You're getting clarity and understanding, uh, what's going on here. This is clarity. The Ace of Swords is clarity. It's truth. Okay. Um, it could represent new conflict as well. So I don't want to get that out, but I'm feeling more so it's mental clarity. It's, um, it's understanding. It's, um, it's a breakthrough. Okay. That it's, it's having a sharp mind and an understanding. It's like, I got it. I know what I need to be doing. Because what you're doing, you're getting an understanding now of why this wheel has not been turning on your behalf. Why things have not been turning in your favor. You're getting an understanding of why things are, have been happening the way that they've been happening. You're getting it now. You're getting an understanding of why this wheel has not been turning on your behalf. Because with the Seven of Swords, somebody has betrayed you. Somebody has been dishonest. Somebody has not been on the up and up. Somebody has not been telling the truth, okay? The Seven of Swords represents betrayal, dishonesty, lying, cheating, stealing. You're getting clarity now about this situation. Now you understand why the wheel has not been turning on your behalf. Because you're understanding that betrayal, dishonesty has come, come forth. And remember I was telling you that forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. This could be an energy that has been done to you with somebody betraying, okay? Being dishonest. This is you now having the clarity and understanding of where and who this energy is coming from, okay? Spirit also has been trying to give you information in your dreams, or you may have received it in your dreams and decided not to pay attention to it. But you're definitely needing to make sure that this information is coming to you or you're needing to get information of what's happening because... You are stressed the heck out. This is Ten of Swords in reverse. This means that it like it cannot get any worse. This is the worst of the worst. This is a complete and painful ending that cannot get any worse. This is bad. And so I'm glad that it's at the end now. There's nowhere else to go but up now. So you're, you're going up. You're moving up. 
Okay, so now you really need to look at the situation that I created the situation and how do I change it, okay? So we're going to definitely go into your extended now. And um, hopefully you can join us for the extended. Yeah, see, I told you Aquarius got something to do with this. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're just like all up in this. Okay, all up in this. And that could just be one well, one person. Yeah. So we're going to go into your ex extended. And um, I'm going to clarify. We're going to clarify the forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I want to clarify you create the situation. Now you have the power to change it. And I want to definitely clarify the seven of swords here. So those were definitely clarifying. Okay. Um, we may clarify a little bit more before we go here. But those three out the box we're going to be clarifying. Okay. Information pertaining to the extended um, can be found below. All right. Okay, my loves. Meet me on the other side. Bye-bye.